Celine Dion is speaking out following her performance at the 2024 Olympics. After the five-time Grammy winner sang for the first time in four years during the Paris Olympics opening ceremony, Celine is now taking to social media to reflect on the huge milestone. She writes on Instagram, I'm honored to have performed tonight for the Paris 2024 opening ceremony and so full of joy to be back in one of my very favorite cities. Going on to give a message for the athletes competing, quote, all of you have been focused on your dream and whether or not you take home a medal, I hope that being here means that it has come true for you. You should all be so proud. We know how hard you have worked to be the best of the best. Stay focused, keep going, my heart is with you. This message comes hours after the 56-year-old made a beautiful comeback singing in French at the Eiffel Tower for the Olympics, marking her first performance for the public since 2020. In recent years, Celine has been battling stiff person syndrome, a rare neurological disorder which can cause painful muscle spasms and stiffness, leading her to cancel her last live tour in 2023. And the Canadian singer has been very open about her health battle recently, even giving fans a glimpse into her journey in her documentary, I Am Celine Dion. In June, E! News spoke with Celine at the premiere of her new film, where she opened up about why she felt the need to share her story with the world. Hopefully it doesn't sound pretentious, but I think that for a long, long time, for so many years, I have felt the love and the support of my fans around the world through the years. I was not born yesterday, obviously, and they helped me to get where I am today. And I thought this struggle of the unknown of a rare disease and not being capable of being the best of me, it was a responsibility that I need to surround myself with the best doctors and to let people know that I'm back and my kids, I'm a mom and I want to come back on stage because I respect my fans, my family, my kids, myself, they deserve to know. And it took me a while because I did not know what I was dealing with. But for me, it was like I was so troubled without knowing what was going on. It's not about choosing what you have, it's dealing with what's happening. And when they found out, it was like it, it took so much weight away from my shoulders that as, as I'm saying to myself, we need to have a documentary because I'm trying to, for this awareness, for the people who may feel that they're, they're alone, they're suffering. And I just hope that this will give them wings and strength to reach out and talk to people and say, we're all worth it, you know, and I, I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful.